dare I say it, I think this monkey's Christmas album is really, really good. Now you've heard what some people say. Here it is. This is the vinyl. This is a nice piece of work. It's very odd in the monkey's uh, lexicon, but it's it was a lot of fun to work on. What would Santa do? What would Santa do? I felt like it had to be perfect. <laughs> and it's a hard one to reach, especially with Christmas music, because you have a sentiment to catch, you have a culture to catch. There's ones that stick in your head, and and you start singing them, you know, immediately, you know, after hearing them. I can't wait to unwrap you at Christmas. You are... Unwrap you at Christmas, it's frankly just a little bit naughty, <laughs> which I did, I love too. I thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> I want to unwrap you at Christmas. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I love the da 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 That was daunting, singing Mill's song. Well, it's like singing a McCartney song. You just, you know, I hope I don't screw this up. Says Naz, who's singing at the top of his game for 50 years, right? So. <laughs> In the house of broken gingerbread. I loved House of Broken Gingerbread. I mean, that just is, whoa, it's about a pretty, um, poignant moment in a child's life, uh, the parents are getting divorced, which you don't often hear in a happy-go-lucky Christmas song. Covering free. Snowfall. I want to use the word edified, meaning, you know, like the edifice. Uh, a snowfall. Try it out, you know, take it home, listen to it with some headphones and some yeah, and something. Sounds like a snowfall. No it's Christmas, right? <laughs>